Welcome to Physics Circular Motion Session 4 Today's topic or aim of this session is, is to study about skidding of vehicle on a level road, bending of a cyclist and also banking of roads. This comes under the application of horizontal circular motion. First we will study the skidding of vehicle on a level road. A car suppose moving on level road comes across a bend. When it wants to turn, when a vehicle takes a turn on a circular path, it requires centripetal force. If the friction provides this centripetal force, then the vehicle can move in a circular path safely. If friction force is greater than or equal to required centripetal force, then only it can negotiate the curve. Let us see this animation. See, the vehicle which is coming straight from here, now it has to negotiate a curve. So, as it negotiates a curve, this circular motion, there should be a centripetal force directed toward the center. If the friction force generated between the tires able to negotiate or is sufficient enough to provide or counterbalance the centripetal force, then the vehicle can take a turn, otherwise it is going to skid because there is a centrifugal force also acting on the vehicle. See, suppose we take this is the front of the vehicle, the front view also if you work it out, you see the front view, this is the road and the road is curved. So, as it turns, comes to the turn here, the friction force applied by the road on the tires should be directed in this direction, mu into normal reaction or mu mg. If this balances the centrifugal force mr omega square, then it can safely negotiate the curve Otherwise, it's going to skid outwards if the friction force is not sufficient. When a vehicle takes a turn on a circular path, it requires centripetal force. If friction provides this centripetal force, then vehicle can move in the circular path safely. Friction force must be greater than or equal to required centripetal force. That means mu mg mu into normal reaction greater than or equal to mv square by r or the safe speed should be less than or equal to root of mu rg. This is the maximum speed by which vehicle can take a turn on a circular path of radius r where mu is the coefficient of friction. If this much safe speed the vehicle goes on a level road, it can negotiate the curve without any problem. If the safe speed is more than this or if the speed of the vehicle is more than the safe speed, definitely there will be a skidding. So the vehicle coming on a straight road, the friction force should be sufficient to negotiate a curve. Otherwise the vehicle is going to skid. 